Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take uh, the first two weeks. Now, I'm introducing business data analytics. Business data analytics. We are the crazy ninjas. We are the ones in the market who control majority of the students in the market. Like last semester, we had about 600. Yeah. 60 students doing video with us in, uh, in the early morning, the five. We had about 360 doing, in this case, a video with us in the evening, and about 200 who are simply uh, watching or rather following us through videos, through videos. And the performance was very good. Cool. Even the students who are here, who are, uh, who, who unfortunately were caught up, few of them, they can bear witness with us at the performance from what they're able to see in the group. It was exceptionally good. Right. So what made those students pass very well, you'll be surprised it was not even really the teachers. Ourselves, in this case, we shall be able to set the ball rolling. When we set the ball rolling, you'll be able to see some students who will come on board and then they take over the entire thing through effective discussion groups. So like now, if it is evening students, evening students, some of them will be doing their discussion, uh, discussion engagements here. Yeah? early morning. Those students were waking up at 4 a.m. without a teacher, all right? And they were able to roll the ball pretty fast to the extent that they were able to do what they to score. Early morning students, 5 a.m. students will be able to give them a, a link as well. And we expect them, ladies and gentlemen, to start, in this case here, also discussing. PDA, unlike other papers, discussion is the key. Because it's a paper of what year, it's a practical paper. It must be about you. If you don't take out of time to discuss and do these things on your own, however good teachers you have, you'll not be able to finish your exam questions. We shall overcome this. We shall overcome. So in this case here, we are going to do our game. We are the coaches here. We shall be able to play the game very well, but also making sure that the ball is able to move forward. And then of course you get to win the Champions League. You guys have got a role to play. We must walk in this case in tandem, side by side. We are doing like this, and then we have in this case you guys as well, discussing and I expect to get volunteer teachers from you to lead our discussion what year uh, groups, our discussion groups. Now, so we have the key papers that we need to know. We need to appreciate all of us. Before we even introduce what BDA is, we have in this case here financial management, stroke advanced financial management. We have here management accounting, stroke what year advanced management accounting. We have auditing and assurance. We have in this case here advanced what year taxation. All right. Advanced taxation. Of course, we have other disciplines we shall be looking at uh, later on as we progress. But today, I'm privileged here to be the one taking you for the next two weeks this through this financial management and advanced financial management. Are you guys having a problem with my volume? Are you guys having a problem with my volume or am I really loud? Great, you can see loud and clear, loud and clear. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. How many students do we have now? How many students do we have now? Let me check here whether you guys have done your work very well. 186 is a very, very good number. Thank you very much. Very good number. So then what I would want us to study, I hope you've been able to write like this. Of course, we had started doing, some of you had started doing this, but I'm assuming that today is our very first session for all of us. So if you had started doing this, then I expect you to write this at the back of your books. They have notes you'll be writing a little bit and they are, I think we'll be doing in Excel. Oh, somebody else is saying that the volume is too low. I don't know why. And I can see my eye. My signal is very clear here. My signal is very clear. My signal is really clear. So the very first thing that your examiner wants us to discuss is what we call discounting. Discounting is the same as present valuation. Present valuation. Present valuation. So under discounting, what are we supposed to know under discounting? That we have two types of cash flows. 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 
Number one, we have irregular, irregular cash flows. Number two, we have the regular cash flows. So number one, we have irregular cash flows. Number two, we have regular cash flows. Thank you very much, Paul Macau. Paul Macau passed. Thank you very much for joining us. So we have irregular cash flows, and then we have regular cash flows. So how am I doing this? I will be able to show you how to discount here. And then we have a student on the other side of the coin who will be able to share his screen, Excel screen, and do for us. In this case, of course, under my guidance now, he'll be able to show you how do we do this in Excel. So I'm, I'm going to play today the, Frederick Wekesa is raising his hand, I don't know why. Is there a problem? I don't know. Frederick Wekesa, is there a problem? Just a minute, I can see guys raising up their hands. Yes, Frederick, I hope I'll be able to hear you. Is it possible you type? Oh, by mistake, okay, all right, thank you. So um, your boardroom, or rather your board teacher, I'm writing on the board, but somebody will be able to do this in Excel, and we're going to coordinate very well. Oh, <laughs> no, we are Japika Apo. I wish I could find you bad too. You bad to party we can be. Now, ladies and gentlemen, remember to discount irregular cash flows. We normally use what we call PV. To discount irregular cash flows, we normally use PV. To discount these regular cash flows that we also call annuities or uniform cash flows. We always use what we call PVFA, present value, interest factor of an annuity. Now, my good students, what I just want you to remember are the formulas. How do we get PVFA? If you can recall from your financial management, from your advanced financial management, to get PVF, we normally take one plus R raised to negative N. One plus R raised to negative N, that will be the formula for us to use to get what we call PV, present value interest factor. Present value interest factor, you must write that in full. Present value interest factor. And remember PV is for irregular cash flows. Example, example. So example is gentlemen. If for example, you are given for example year, you are given year one, two, three. And then ladies and gentlemen, they happen to give us in this case year, the cash flows, the cash flows. So cash flows in this case here, we have, for example, year one, you get 10, year two, you get 15, year three, you get 18. And then these guys have given you the cost of capital as 10%. These guys have given you the cost of capital as 10%, as 10%. Cost of capital is 10%. Cost of capital is 10%. In this particular case, the initial outlay is zero. Let's assume it's a, a DevOps kind of business where you're not investing anything, but you're getting what here, these cash flows like this. And then, ladies and gentlemen, you are only required to give us the total present value. You are required to give us the total present value. Once you finish writing this example down, can you kindly put your thumbs up like this? Once you finish writing this example, putting this example down, can you kindly put up your thumbs like this? A small example, cock is cost of capital. Thank you so much. Now, even before I show you how this is normally done, do we have any great ninja here who is able to remember what we are doing? Do we have any great ninja that can remember? Yes. Unfortunately, there are students who did a FM long time ago. We have to remind them. Here, I shall make an assumption that you know nothing. And even the nothing that you know, you know it wrongly. You know it wrongly. I think that's a very good assumption, that you know nothing. And even the nothing that you know, you know. So because these cash flows are fluctuating, they are irregular. So I must come and create a column here of PV. And the PV is one plus R raised to what here? Raised to negative N. PV is one plus R raised to negative N. So you see this cost of capital is the required return. 
This cost of capital is the required return. So this is our R. So, and you see 10% is the same as 0.1. 10% is the same as 0.1. So then abracadabra, we shall come and say here one plus R. So R is 0.1. Raised to negative N is the time. Time here, the first year. So we raise this to one. This will be one plus 0.1. I'm following this formula, raised to negative two. This will be one plus 0.1 raised to negative three. Every student should be able first to do these raise ups using a calculator. I want you to use a calculator before I show you how to use Excel. Every student should be able to remember how to do this using a calculator. In your calculator, I hope you guys can see where we have raised to. In your calculator, you should be able to see where we have raised to like this. There's a button called, or, or in some calculators, X raised to Y, X raised to Y, whichever. So you punch there, 1.1 .1 raised to negative one, and everybody must participate. In BDA, you know, some of you passed AFM by just good luck. Why? Because you are backbenchers. You're not answering questions, but I can guarantee you, in BDA, if you take a backbench position, where you're waiting for figures to be given to you, you shall fail. Here, everybody must give us answers. Everybody must be like what Hilda was doing in uh, those FMs. Hilda was a tough ninja, a tough ninja. So please go ahead and raise this to negative two. And whenever you have a question, please ask. Again, don't shy away from asking. 82, 64, 0.82, 64, 0.82, 64. And then we have in this case here, this raised to negative three, this raised to negative three, which will end up giving me what figure the third one? 0.7513. 0.7513. And then, ladies and gentlemen, once you get this, you should be able to come and create a column where we have the discounted cash flows. You should be able to come and create a column and give us discounted cash flows. Discounted cash flows. For any inquiries, they should be able to call this number. So discounted cash flows, what do we have here? You are taking our usual cash flows, multiplying them with our PV. So you take this, you multiply this with our PV, and then you give me an answer. You give me an answer. You give me an answer. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. The first one is very easy. The cash flow is 10. Multiplied by this will end up giving me 9.091. Then we have 15. 15 multiplied by this gives me what figure? 15 multiplied by this gives me 12.396. 12.396. 12.396. 12 and then we have here 18 times 0.7513. 18 times 0.7513. We have a 12 point, uh, 13 point, 13.524, 13.524. So remember this DCF stands for discounted cash flows. This stands for discounted cash flows. This stands for discounted cash flows. Once cash flows are discounted, now you can go ahead and add them up. So please go ahead and add this up. Give me the total discounted cash flows. 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 So according to CPA Isaac, CPA Omo, Josephat, we are getting 35.011. 35.0. Let me just put it to three decimal places. 35.01011. I don't know. One one like that. All right. Now I want us to go to the next phase of uh, this where we now solve these using your Excel, using your Excel. Do we have our machines open? Do we have our machines open? Do we have our laptops open? All right, that's beautiful. And I hope now you have your workbooks open. And if you have your workbooks open, I simply want you to copy this. I simply want you to copy this question up to here. Oh, I don't know whether I've rubbed very far. I mean, I think I've done a mistake there to wrap very fast. So please, whenever you feel that I'm moving very fast, don't shy away from telling me, ninja, 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 that speed is very high. And then I'll be able to slow down. But I just want you to copy down this example. So you write here, so one, two, three, and then you write cash flows, 10, 15, 18, 10, 15, 18. And then you write cost of capital. So this cost of capital, when you're writing it, don't say cost of capital is 10%, you ninja. No, you have uh, your two Excel cells. 
One cell, you write cock. The other cell, you go to the other cell and write what year? 10%. 10%. You can't write uh, many things in one cell because you'd want this to apply this. You'd want to apply this 10% in isolation. So once you are able to write this on your Excel sheet, can you kindly put your thumbs up like this, 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 and as I wait for them to copy, I would want this time around, we are now dominating the market in terms of what year? CPA. Now it's not even about competition, now it's dom dominance. Dominance means we should take 80% of the market. So I would want to welcome all of you to join us here for BDA. To join us, to join us, call us. We call 0793-555-000. So they have been able to do that. Now in this case here, let me get a student. Then on the other side of the coin, and this student is joining us. I mean, the beautiful thing with this, with these online classes, I'm able to get people from all over. So this student is joining in from Mombasa, from Mombasa, and they will be able to share his screen very well. So I hope my student is able to hear Mwalimu from wherever they are, and they will be able to now share their screen with us. Great. Great, so please maximize. Maximize very well. So you can see this ninja has uh, three columns there, or rather two columns. We have the year, we have the amount there, and we have cock. So I simply want him to give me the present value because now we are not going to create that column at all. We are not going to create the column of PVs. We simply want net present value and a cock, and a cock if you don't mind. And a cock, are you able to give me and a cock? You simply write there, net present value. Let's escape. We write there net present value, assuming the cost of company, or rather the, the initial outlay is at zero. So I want to get net present value. Yes. So in this case, you start straight away, uh, get straight away to say equals, because now I want to put a function there. You say equals. So once you say equals, we want to look for the NPV functionality. So you say NPV equals NPV equals NPV, are you able to sit there? Oh, yes. And then it is giving you the narratives. Because in NPV, down there in the narratives, and I'm like, hey, pick the rate. So please, my colleague, pick the rate there. From there now, it wants you to pick the values. It wants you to pick the values now. So the values you can see there, they are 10, 15. You simply highlight all of them. And then you close brackets. You close brackets. You close brackets. You close brackets. Are you able to say, okay, enter? Are you able to say, enter now? Yeah. So you can imagine we got that figure of 35. Don't, don't remove the dollars. It's okay. Don't remove the dollars. So let's repeat again. Let's repeat again. So I thought at times I move fast for you guys to see the end result. For you guys to see the end result. And then I repeat. So the first thing, have you been able to copy that uh, table of year and amount? Have you been able to copy the table of year and amount? That is the first thing that I should have asked. Have you copied that table? Because if you haven't copied, you'll again say I'm very fast. Have you copied the table? Yes. Then please delete that NPV. Delete the NPV, the 35.01. Aha, uh -huh, I'm talking, aha. Uh -huh. so, Every student ensure that you have written that NPV on top of that. And ensure that you have written NPV. Of course, on the cost of capital 0 0.1, then ensure that you have written NPV. And remember now, we must, uh, in this case, yeah, activate. We are activating the cell by saying equals. You start by saying equals. Uh -huh. What function are we using? It's called net present value. You say net present value. Net present value. So just a moment, is there somebody who has been able to reach where Mwalimu has reached? Is there somebody who has been able to reach where Mwalimu has reached? Ah, great, great. Now we are together there. And you are seeing in this case, this thing is giving you what it wants you to pick. So like now, uh, Jemtai is saying no. Jemtai, it means you have not really copied the table. You're not copying the table. All right. So then I'll finish in this case here with the guys who uh, we are together here, and then I'll be able to come back and pick the guys who are yet copying the table. So you can see NPV, it has what we call parentheses. 
inside there, we have rates. Are you able to pick the rate? What is the cost of capital? The cost of capital, you can see it is there 10%. So you pick it there. After rate, they want you to say comma there, comma. And then we have values one, values two, values three, which are your cash flows, which are your amount. You simply highlight the three figures. You highlight the three figures. And that is the end of the parentheses. You simply close your brackets like that, and then you say enter. Are you able to increase the decimal places? Are you able to increase the decimal places, 35.01? Uh, highlight the 35.01. Yeah, and then now you increase, you can see there under home, you can increase the decimal places. Yeah, yeah, just increase them to three. Increase, lower them to three, lower them to three, because I would want us to get the same answer like the one that we got. Now, as I repeat, ladies and gentlemen, 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 do we have any student who has been able to get that at 5.011? Don't worry about the dollars. I'll be able to, know to show you how to remove them. Uh, is there someone who has been able to get that? Right, right, all right. So let's repeat this now for the very last time, for the very last time, for the very last time. So I don't know whether you could, uh, somebody has mentioned there, are you able to rub that cock? Just rub the whole of that uh, from row six, from row six downwards, rub everything there. From row six, rub everything there, uh, including, the NP, including the NPVs, just go, that is the C. I want you to move that cock and the point one and NPV. Yeah. So let's write. So I want everybody to write year and amount. Please write like that. Year and amount. Write that. The table like that gentleman is displaying there. Write like that. And then go down there. And uh, in this particular case, in this case, it's B5. Under B5 or B6. Under B6. In, in, in uh, cells B6. Right, cock. Cock. Cock for cost of capital. Uh huh. And then we have in this case here, under B, under, under C, 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 right, 10%. You don't have to put it like this. You can just put it like 10% if you wish, or 0 0.1. Doesn't matter. Right? So, like 10%, that's still okay. So, click outside. So, then we want you to. Now go down there and write NPV. Write NPV. All right. So then I would want you to go to D8, D8, D8. D8, D8, D8 there. So I want you now to get that NPV. How do we get this NPV? Number one, we must start by activating the cell. How do we activate the cell? By saying equals. By saying equals. Equals, all right. NPV function. Because the functions are very many. So you say equals NPV. So you can see NPV is there. So you double click that blue thing. Double click it. And then you can see now the rate. That is the rate of interest, the cost of capital. So the rate, you pick that 10%. You go 10% sell, you pick it. And then you say comma. You say comma. Then we have here value one. So the values, you should be able to know how to highlight those values. How to highlight those values? You highlight them, and then you close brackets. Then, as a gentleman, you will be able to say enter. Once you say enter, you should be able to get that thirty-five point zero one one. So now, are we comfortable with that? Are we comfortable with that? Are we comfortable with that? Are we comfortable now, all of us, with that? That is net present value. Net present value. Please feel free to ask as many questions as possible. Feel free to ask as many questions as possible. I don't see anybody asking any question now. Thank you. Now then, allow me to take this thing to a notch higher. Now this time round, I would want to get a student from Moranga. A student from Moranga now will be able to share their screen. Now I want a student, if you are here and you're coming from Moranga, now to me kupikia, to me kupikia wato Moranga. Wacha tuwana kama Moranga wako juu, ama chini. Sasa, Hii itakuwa ni watu wa moranga sasa. Hii ni watu wa moranga. Tuwane ni wapi watu strong. Tuwane ni wapi watu strong. Sasa, umepatiwa hapa here. Umepatiwa here. So from here we are going to the past paper direct. Uh, don't share. Don't share for the sake. Before, before I tell you to share, please don't share. Before I tell you to share, please don't share because 
you're blocking my boat. You're blocking my boat. Before I tell you to share, please never share. You're blocking my boat. So we have here, here, zero, one, a two, three, all right. And then we have now our cash flows. We have our cash flows. So year zero, we are going to incur a cost, negative 10. Then year one, we get fruits, eight. Year two, we get something, seven. Year three, we get something, ladies and gentlemen, which in this case here could be 12. Like that. So the initial investment is 10. We're getting eight, seven, and 12. And then the cost of capital, you're putting this in different cells. The cost of capital, this time around, I would want us to work with 7%. So I would want you to write this. If you're coming from Moranga, if you're coming from Moranga, after you've written this, come here and they give us the net present value. Net present value. Of course, for your case, you'll not be able to put this in bracket. I'll be able to show you that later. What you're supposed to know is that whenever you see a figure in bracket, it's supposed to be negative. You simply write this as negative 10. You don't have to put it in bracket. Later on, we shall be doing this formatting. So this is negative 10. 8, 7, 12. So, and then we have cost of capital this time around is 7%. And then we have NPV, NPV. So is there anybody in this case here who is coming from Mulima? What was Mulima? Wako wapa kuwele mawako. Kama wako wapa na unataka kushare screen, niambie. Niambie kwanza nijue kama ni wa Mulima. Leo tukuna competition kali. Tena ya pesa. Kama ni wa mulima, nda kujua, kama ni wa mulima, mimi ni mzee na, na segmento na kunzi, na kuna ukabila nifanya. All right. Joyce, I don't know Joyce, but Joyce, from Malindi, great. We shall be able to see Malindi people. I love Malindi. Good weather. I mean, ni hot, lakini, hakuna mamumbaya uko Malindi mzuri. Akipita BDA, I see this nigger giving me a chance, in this case here, to go to Malindi and of course enjoy myself there. Great. So Joyce, are you able to share your screen? <laughs> Gong Town, great ninja. Joyce, then share your screen. Joyce, share your, your screen. Share your screen. All right. So there we are. So now, ladies and gentlemen, Joyce has been able to write it down very well. So I simply want us to go anywhere in row 20 and give us NPV. In row 20, give us NPV. Give us NPV. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. equals you can see it there, there double click the rate Bulima and Yoyo Maneno Sasa rate is a seven percent and then now we have value one value one no 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 that is value zero ah well we have let down Bulima you see, it's very categorical. <laughs> they want you to pick from value one, not from value zero. Now close the bracket. And then now you say plus. No, no, no. Go back to 23. Thank you very much. Yeah. Say plus, plus, the number plus, ship, equals, plus the initial outlay, plus the initial outlay. That's negative 10. Ah, enter now. Ah, we're getting 13.39, and because it's positive, you shall write what they are viable, isn't it? You shall write they are viable. This is great. The project is viable because the NPV is positive. This is great. Ladies and gentlemen, please, this being the first session, I'm more than impressed. Please listen and listen to me very well. The first example, nobody sharing their screen. The first example that we did, Haikuan initial outlay. How you call an initial outlay? Remember, how do we normally get our NPV? To get net present value, we normally take total present value minus initial outlay. Minus initial outlay. Minus initial outlay. So here, this lady was able to get her total present value 23 point something. But you see, I can't say minus here, the initial outlay and yet this figure itself is minus. So if I use minus here, I'll be talking of minus minus 10, which will end up being plus. Now for us, because the initial outlay will always be given as what here as a negative, I will come and always say 23 plus the initial outlay figure, which is what here, which is negative 10. Initial outlay figure, which is negative 10. 
because you see plus and minus will end up giving me minus. So that this will be 23 minus 10 like that, which gives us 13, which gives us 13. So this ninja from Gong, the ninja from Gong, for purposes of repeating so the students can understand, are you able to share your screen, this ninja from Gong? Evelyn Obonyo, are you able to share your screen? And please don't fear when I choose you, you simply share your screen. That's what you can say so well. We are here to assist you. The next ninja that will share their screen, please be ready. And you are quite unlucky, or rather lucky, because you will do a past paper quest. You'll do a past paper quest. If linear, moving slower, well, by now your screen should be up. We never change the bracket. We simply wrote negative 10. You simply say minus 10. Don't put, uh, simply say minus 10. Great, Evelyn, thank you very much. Now the ball is yours. Let's see whether you will be able to throw the ball outside the goal. So equals, or from Malindi, Ray. So equals the NPV for I. Ray, you can see the rate there, comma. Values one to value three. All right. You have to remember to close bracket, don't forget. Now plus the initial outlay that you pick from there. Did you skip uh, something? Enter, let's see. I think you skip the screen. You skip the screen. The screen have a problem. So, great. Thank you very much. So the correct answer is supposed to be 13.39. I'll show you how to change those dollars to Kenya or whatever to whichever currency will ask you to do. But for now, the answer is 13.39. The only mark you will lose in even in your a let down a little bit to uh, uh, Gong people. You never wrote, you know, the essence is to say, the essence is to say that uh, the project, whether the project is viable or not viable, whenever it's positive, as long as it's right viable, I get one mark. One mark to us can make us see places that you've never seen before, being members of East Bank. Frederick Wekesa, I can see you're getting a wrong answer. Are you able to share your screen, Frederick Wekesa? Are you able to share your screen? Yeah. I can see in this case here, people are saying, I'm coming from Malindi, please get, let's get to talk. Yeah, that's very good. Let's get to talk. If people are coming from the same region, please get to talk. But uh, the last time when students tried something like that, I was called into some wedding. So you're also connecting people. I hope that shall never happen. No, don't worry with my jokes here. Yeah. All right. Hey. You shared so many things. I wish you'd know how to select, select, I mean, the Excel that you'd want to share. You should be able to know how to select the Excel that you want to share. Otherwise, one day you share so many sensitive things. You just go to that screen, which has got the Excel sheet you want to share. Then you click that, you bring that to the board. I hope you used 7% because that could be the mistake, maybe you use 10%. But uh, as he's preparing to, to share the screen, have, have we been able to get this concept now, most of us? Have we been able to get this concept, ladies and gentlemen, now most of us? Yeah, Nancy has reminded me something very nice, that whenever you get anything correct, you need to dance. Here we shall be dancing a lot, even physically. I'll be able to show you guys that dancing, whenever you get something new, you dance. There's a dancing emoji there. Yeah. It's an aha moment. It's a hooray moment. Funga video. Funga video. Sasa funga video. Mr. Funga video. Oh, Joshua Moturi. Your video is on. You need to really. Yeah, all our videos should be off. Yeah, then Frederick, if you're using your phone, really, you'll not be able to get the same. You know, phone, Excel, phone is very unstable. It's very unstable. It's, up, it's still under beta. All right. So, then, gentlemen, if we are together, then allow me to take this thing uh, to the next level. Can I take it to the next level? Can I take it to the next level? Can I do a past paper question? Thank you. Now, the other student of uh, mine who is in Mombasa, are you able to get any past paper question? talking about net present value, X net present value, you share the screen here. And then now using that question, 
I should be able to task somebody from Luo Nyanza. Now I'm going straight away to Luo Nyanza. Luo Nyanza. Mwalimu, I'm from Kisi, and I can see even my teacher is in class. <laughs> I mean, I, <laughs> that's very healthy when your teacher is there to learn. That's very healthy. You ask me. If you ask me, that's very healthy. A place of real men, I don't know. <laughs> I will be able to see, Shelby. I will be able to see whether you'll be able to get this. <laughs> I like that. Shelby, I'm uh, pointing you. I'm pointing towards your side to see whether you'll be able to get this correct, to see whether you are really a uh, real man. So I'm waiting for this student of mine from uh, Mombasa, who is helping Mwalimu here today to share the screen. And if you haven't gotten a question from your past paper, you can always say no, and then I'll be able to know what to do here as you search for it. Uh, Dixon Yakundi from Kisi. Great. The second example, Alex wants us to repeat the second example, the second example. So then what I would want uh, somebody to do here, it is Shedi. Shedi, this example that we have just done, this example that we have just done, are you able to share your screen again for the sake of this guy? Share your screen, we see these real men. And then as we progress, the students that I'll be able to give a lot of my presence will be those students who are able to format their answers in blue colors, yellow color, great colors. If you are good in formatting, you always pass. So please grab row number seven. Row number seven, I would want us to start from there, row number seven. Let's delete the whole of it. There's a better way of deleting a row. You would have said control minus. Control minus. Just try that. Try on row six, we see. Yeah, yeah, great. And then control minus. Deduct it. Ah, that is a perfect way. Somebody who knows Excel very well will be doing like that. Control, subtract a row, control, subtract a column. That is what we shall be doing. Now, I want you to write there cock of 7%. Cock, 7%. Formatting is uh, mandatory. Like last semester, the students that really were able to format their work very well, nobody failed. Nobody failed. Yeah, like you can put borders, but I'll be able to show where are you marrying a kwanza. Where said where real man, real ninja. What are you marrying a kwanza? Is it? So I want you to take us through how we are getting that NPV, how we are getting this NPV now. This example for the sake of Alex who has asked us to repeat. So you see, we have to activate the cell by saying equals. Sorry, sorry, just a minute. Alex, have you been able? Have you been able, Alex, to write down that table? Have you written down down that table, Alex? Yes. So that's not a pole pole now, Alex. So to say, Apple equals, you know, Ninja, I say my equals Apple. Say my NPV. 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 I have click, double click you. Yeah. So my double click. I love to say rate. So the rate Apple, you know, 7%. When you go up to Alex, you don't want to Alex. Alex, up to there, are we together? Up to there, are we together? Alex, up to there. Great. So so up in a combi, I say my comma. Comma. Then we have values one all the way to value three. You don't start in this case here from value zero. You simply go and highlight those three. And then now you close bracket Alex. So from there, then you'll be able to say plus. Remember the initial value is negative. You say plus that negative 10. And then you say and uh, it is coming from it shouldn't scare you. That's okay. Just put your cursor there, go home, put your cursor, and then you go home. Yeah, you know to see the percentage up there. You see percentage in the ribbon. We don't want that percentage. We want it to be a general number. Uh, no, 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 no. Why you keep doing that? percentage. No, I'm not doing. I can't do that. I'm not doing percentage. I'm not doing percentage. Who could you do? Come on, I'm not doing. Apple, you are you. You are you. That's why Apple. And that's why you drop down. Arrow. You drop down. No, no. We talk Apple. We want to put Apple. Yes, that one. So put it general or just a number. Yeah. Yeah. And then you should be able to know how to reduce now the yeah, yeah. The decimals. Aha. Uh -huh. So are you okay? Are you okay, Alex? Thank you very much. Also, Freddy, for confirming. Are we okay now there? I mean, when we are marking these things, I can tell you yet somebody will get a percentage of big thing and I turn it to a percentage. And I think we could change two could do general number, just a normal number. Great. Thank you, Alex. I've confirmed. 
Now, this friend of mine, let me just confirm whether he has gotten something from the <laughs> sorry, sorry, come here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I hope now we are okay. Now we are okay. Now we are okay. Sasa, this subject I will kusema wili mana somebody that kita kuramba, I I can assure you BDA needs two things. You have to be very aggressive and then you need to know how to make your schedule be smart. You should be able to be a smart person. Right. Thank you very much. Now, what will happen? You see, these cash flows assumes that uh, they assume that all the cash flows are received at the end of the year. But in BDA, this is now normally what will happen. You will get a situation where you will get a situation where the examiner will give you something like this. It will give you time. For example, we have sixth of January, twenty twenty three. We have in this case here, for example, 7th of uh, uh, January, 2024. We have, for example, 8th of uh, uh, June, uh, 2024. So you can see that, and gentlemen, here, 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 here. I mean, these are not end of year dates. Thank you very much, Joy. Thank you very much, Joy. These are not end of uh, year dates. So whenever you're given dated, uh, dated cash flows, cash flows with the exact dates, dated cash flows, we shall always, so for dated cash flows, for dated cash flows, we shall always use what we call XNPV. For dated cash flows, we shall always use what we call XNPV. XNPV. Jemtai is saying what a hard time. Jemtai, is there a problem? Is there a problem? You should not start panicking. You have just started very well. Lesson number one, we are now going to hit a past paper. I don't think there is really a big problem. You should not panic. So long as you are following, you know, and if there is a question, you simply ask, you shall overcome. You shall overcome. Don't panic. It can't be a hard time. It can't be a hard time. I really doubt. I really doubt. It can't be a hard time. So whenever you have dated cash flows, we shall always use what we call XNPV. Then how do we get XNPV? Now my student from Mombasa should be able to share past papers, which I'll be able to share with you at night. Once we finish this class, I'll be able to share with you these past papers. So now my student in this case here from Mombasa, who is assisting Mwalimu here to do this thing, I would want you to put up your screen. We do one question which has got dated cash flows, cash flows with various dates. And then we get X and PV. Life is good. Life is good. Life is good. I would really want Jim Tai to tell me where the problem is because I'll be able to assist him. I'm a great ninja. So you share this screen. So I would want to see him sharing the past paper. Or do you want to do, I don't know. How, okay, let me just give him the liberty of doing it. Mm -hmm. 
please continue. Give him time. There is no pressure in this world. No hurry in Africa. Give him time. Okay. Now, these are different uh, students who are shared here, which is quite uh, sad, but please. Please share when I only tell you to share. Share when I tell you to share. Right now, the student who is sharing is the student from Mombasa who has an example who has an example, and then I'll be able to give you now this other ninja a chance to also share your concept so with us. But before I appoint you to share, don't share. Don't share. Yeah. Now, see here. So this is a, which question? A question from which city? Please write it down. Which question is this? The past papers, I'll be able to give you the past papers. That is my goal. So this is December 2022. Question number 23. You are evaluating a four year old project with an initial investment of 10 million on 1st January 2023 and the following cash flow characteristics. So we have here Sunday, January 1, 2023, 10 million negative. We have Friday, June. Friday, June. Uh -huh. Wednesday, July. We have all the way up to 30. Uh, Thursday, December 31st, 2026. And then they want me to calculate the normal NPV, X NPV of the project, and hence determine whether the project is what you have, is viable. So if I'm the one given this kind of a question, I will go to a particular row there. I can call, I can go to F, F13, 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 right, cock there, cock. Oh, cost of capital. And then G, G13, we can see the discount rate is given as 8%. It's given there. Thank you very much. So write 8%. And then are you able now to give me, are you able to give me the XMPV? Because these are debted. They are debted cash flows. So write down the XMPV in F, F14. F14, write XMPV. XMPV, then you can see the rate. I like XMPV because after comma, after comma, you can see they simply want you to write the values. Values, just, uh, okay, I'm able to give you a chance here, yeah, values. So you copy all of them, values. You copy, because here they are not specifying like value one, value two. And then you say comma, comma. Next, they want you to pick the dates. Are you seeing that? Next, they want you to pick the dates. Uh -huh. And then I should be able to close the entire thing. Here now there is nothing like adding the initial outlay. You close the entire thing, you say end. You can see the answer is coming there very well. Very well, very well. Very well, he's increasing the best number. I like this. I like this. I like this. XMPV. Now, what you do, please attach this instead of them copying the table, attach this for them in the attach this for them in the chat. Say they pick. Don't copy. I don't want you to get very tired. Just attach for them. Attach for them. Attach for them this. Attach for them. Let him attach for you here. The past paper. Great. I can see this ninja from TC. I can see a catch here. Just joined. Where will the recorded version be sent? So, of course, we're going to send this ladies and gentlemen in uh, our LMS learning management system, which now I believe you guys are members. Now, these great ninjas that I've never thought before. Do I have students who are saying immediately that we are going now to join this class? Do we have any student who has seen value? And the highlight is not a good question to be able to answer there. A good question to be able to answer that. How do we get to highlight those things? I'll be able to answer that. The first paper is coming here. Just give him a minute, Tracy. So the new students, I mean, 
am I having some guys here who will be able to join in my class? Am I having some new guys here who will be able to join in my class? Yeah, at least I've gotten one from Malindi, Gibson Maganda. Great. I, I'm getting, ah, great. We need to start doing these things together from the word go. Now, you can see this guy has attached the, the paper there. Here I am. Thank you very much. I'm new. Great. Great. Thank you very much. Then I can see I have followers here. I have followers here. Now, a REM has attached. A REM has attached. So somebody should be able to download this and then you share it in WhatsApp. Download and then you share in WhatsApp. Download and then you share in WhatsApp. Download and then you share on WhatsApp. Download and then you share on WhatsApp. Download and then you share on What's up? So please remember for the students who would want to join us, for the students who would want to join us, this is our inquiries number. It is 0735 There are students who are telling us that Mwalimu, you are charging 9,000, is too high. No. If you get colleges charging you 6,000, I'm so sure those guys are teaching this paper only drops. Ask the mile, I mean, the miles you are going with this paper, you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. Again, you are paying insane 20 dollars So you can't go wrong. So is there any ninja who has been able to download it and sent it to our WhatsApp group? We're charging 9,000 for BDA. 9,000 for BDA. So is there any ninja that has been able to download this and send it to our WhatsApp group? Yeah, it's fair. Thank you very much, CPA Omo. It's fair. Nathan, great. Yes. So then... Please go to that question, go to that question and get to share your screen. Get to share your screen before I answer this ninja. It's already shared. So now Irene Diria, you Irene, are you able to share your screen here? Yeah? This is a lady from Southern Sudan. Very aggressive lady. Very aggressive lady. Irene Diria. Irene, are you able to share your screen here? Yeah? Thank you very much. Great. So you see, Oh, already, already she has done to the end. But now for the sake of showing other students who have not been able to get it, you can do it, you know, from the beginning. You can go to cell F, cell F14. You can get that figure fresh. F14, yeah, that one. So remember, these are dated cash flows. So you're using X and P, so you must say equals. Equals X and P V. Is it a normal LPV? X and PV. Uh -huh. And then you pick the rate. The rate is 8%. You say comma. You see, like now what this lady will do, she'll go job, listen to this. She'll go to that 10 million because they want all the values. She'll go to the 10 million negative. She clicks there. She clicks there. All right? You want to highlight all the values. So go to that 10 million and click there. Negative. But why are you starting from that one? No. For X and TV, you should always start from the beginning. Always. You don't estimate anything. So now from there, this lady is like dragging that to that class. All right. And then, of course, you know to say comma there. If you have a mouse, there's a way you can be able to highlight. So you say comma there. And then you go to the dates column, you highlight all the dates. The dates column, you highlight all the dates. Now you can close brackets. Now, and you can see she's saying it's viable, which is very good for her. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there are things I would want to start to me knowing. How do we do this highlight? How do we do this highlight? There are things I would want to start knowing. Like you have got three keys, three keys, which are very, very important here. We have here control shift. Yeah, we have here, in this case, you'll be able to see down here, where we have control and shift. So we have here on your keyboard, control and shift somewhere here. These are two keys, control and shift. And then we have, in this case here on your keyboard, we have here the navigation keys. Eh? They're normally four. We have this one going like that. Another one going down, navigation keys, they're normally four. Navigation keys are normally four. So assuming in this case, you have got some numbers, 10, 20, 30, 
maybe 40. And then I would want to highlight these numbers. How do I do this? What I will do, I will come and I click on this. I'll just come and I click on this uh, term. I'll click here. And then we see your cursor being there. And once I click that, now to highlight this from the beginning to the end, what I'll do, I'll come and place my two fingers here. I'll place my two fingers here. Once I hold on to this down tightly, then I will knock this down arrow, all of us. So it's shift control, you knock on this. It will highlight all of them at once. Shift control, you hit this. It highlights all of them like that. Is there anybody who has been able to practice that? All the students. Is there anybody who has been able to practice that? First of all, you start by clicking on this. First of all, you click the number you want to start from. And then you come and hit shift control, this arrow down. You go down like that. It takes all of them. I can't get as many yeses as I can. <laughs> I can't get as many. <laughs> so if, for example, they are, uh, let, let, let's write another row. If, for example, they are uh, arranged like this, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 10, 20, 30, 40. And maybe there's a gentleman we have this, it doesn't matter. So, and you want to highlight this, that thing. So what you'll do, you will come and do what here. Yeah. Click on this first. You click on this first. Once you click on that, and then now to highlight all of them at once, you don't start like scrolling. No. It's control shift. Now because they are moving that way, you click once. It's up. It takes up the whole thing. It takes up the whole thing. There are things. It will work. It will work. Why can't it work? That one, every, unless you have a Mac, a Mac is the one that disturbs. And any student who has a MacBook, I always tell them to buy this normal computers. I always tell them to buy this normal computer. It should be able to work at G. It should be able to work. So long as you've got these numbers, and then make sure you click this first one. And you sure that this one is the one that is a highlight there. And then you say Control Shift, and then you hit, it will work. It doesn't matter your Excel version, it will work. There are things I don't want to see my students doing as you do Excel, there are things how to get the formulas, how to get the formulas. This one will come with practice, will come with practice, with practice, with practice to be able to make. There are things I don't want to see my students do. You will just imagine a whole BDA ninja, a whole BDA ninja, they have like, for example, 30, 40, 60 in Excel. And then you tell them to sum. This is what, what many of them will do. They'll come and say equals sum. When they say equals sum, then they'll come and highlight these numbers. Don't you tell them values? They highlight all these numbers. Then they close brackets. Then they enter. Please, let's do this together. Let's do this together. This little of mine, this little of mine in this case here from Mombasa. Are you able to share your screen and then you show them something here? You show them something here. You simply write there 30, 40, 60. 30, 40, 60. Then tell us in this case here, what are we getting there? 30, 40, 60. Thank you very much. I can see students that have taught you in the past. Yeah, so 30, 40, 60. Yeah, 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 yeah. 30, 40, 60, 30, 40, 60. So we show them the traditional way. We show them the traditional way. When I say my equals summation, equals sum. No, you haven't said something. Equals sum, equals sum. And then you highlight those number one, number two, number. You highlight like that. And then you say close brackets. Then you enter. That is a traditional method. The best method, if you can just drop your screen one minute, the best method that a straight thinking ninja will always use, they'll come put their cursor here, click here, where you want your answer to be. And then you say, alt equals. If you look at your, 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 your keypad, if you look at your keypad, you'll be able to see something near the windows called alt somewhere near the window here, called out. And then we have, in this case here, some, somewhere, we have somewhere here, where we have backspace, where we have the plus, you know to see equals. So simply say out, and then equals, takes up the entire thing, and then enter. We have enter somewhere here. You get that answer directly. Are there students who are able to learn that today, but they have never learned that? Yeah, please show again, show there. So we have our M. So in this case, you will see, we'll say straight away there, alt equals, it picks, and then enter. 
it speaks and then enter. It speaks and then enter. I was very happy uh, the other day, somebody went to an interview and then the interviewer, who was also my student, told me that I've been able to see, because I've done Bosco. Somebody was able to tell me that I'm able to see your students. For example, there are things you're supposed to know. For example, for example, when you go and start saying equal sample, you see, before it says equal, when you say equal, when you start typing here, it will be some, it will be some if, it will be some if, it will be some And then, for example, this one on top is the one that is blue, is the one, and it's the one that you want some. Is the one that you want some. Is the one that you want some. And you realize that this thing is in blue. A fake ninja will double click. A fake ninja double clicks this to bring this here. But a strong ninja will know how to make use of the tab. Will know how to make use of the tab. We have the tab function. If you look at your keyboard, if you look at your keyboard, we have the tab function. There is a tab function. Some keyboards, it's written directly tab. Button, tab. Some crazy keyboards, you'll see in this case here, an arrow facing there and another arrow facing back. Arrow, arrow. This one is for tabbing. Tab. And I normally give students a very bad example here. You get these young men. Young men are the men below 35 years, especially between 30 and 35 years. And you are meant to go on your pesa kidogo. So the man can't go club. I can know a beer, not a beer, but a mzinga. I was a mzinga. Who got a naive? So anytime you're looking at a function which comes in blue, never ever should you double click on it to take it to the cell. You shall always tab, you tab. So this little of mine in this case here coming from uh, Mombasa. Are you able to share, show them something here? The concept of tabbing. Are you able to share? Are you able to share your screen? You want to repeat this concept of sum? Now for when the pole pole, we can't answer kusema equals, answer kusema equals, yeah, yeah, yeah. Equals, answer kusema to S U. Ah, S U. And the like, you don't want to sum. Ah, so so no na pale. Why should double click and yet you should have? So please take, take that thing to Sam and we will at Sam. So I simply want it to tab. You press that button called the tab. tab. So you press tab, it goes up without you double clicking. I don't know whether there is anybody who has been able to follow that. Your concept of tab. Is there anybody who has been able to follow this? Concept of tab is a tab. Very, very important concept of tab. TOD. TOD. Oh, it's called a slap. Okay. <laughs> it's a slap. <laughs> oh, it's red label. Great. <laughs> so when you guys pass this uh, video, you need to go and buy Malini that thing. You need to go and buy Malini. You, 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 uh, you, you should spoil Malini when you pass the video. It's a promise. That's a promise. So, but I hope the concept is your own. This thing of tabbing, you shall never double click things. Because as we progress, a good Excel person shall not be using the, the mouse. An Excel person should be able to know the Excel shortcut. That's why, why your topic number one is Excel shortcuts. But as you shall do it with the syllabus, Excel shortcuts, as you shall do it with the syllabus, as you shall do it with the syllabus. So, ladies and gentlemen, Never try Chrome while you can kill it, eh? right? <laughs> I'm just joking. I don't even take beer. I only, I only use those examples there too. I mean, make my class lively. Make my class lively. <laughs> we shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. So, ladies and gentlemen, ah, a good student is asking there whether we can use a uh, alt across uh, uh, columns, across rows, across rows. Why not? Why not? 
If you have one row, for example, like 20, 30, 40, you simply go there, and in this case here, put your cursor here. And then you say alt equals, alt equals, alt equals. <laughs> so somebody, I hope you're doing it. My RM student from Mombasa, please share there 20, 30, 40. 20, 30, 40. 20, 30, 40 across. 30, 30, 40, 50. Or somewhere new. 20, 30, 40. 20, 30, 40. 20, 30, 40. All right. Uh, and then put the cursor there. And then you should be able to say Alt equals. Yeah, you can see it's speaking. Alt equals. All right. You can see this video. Now, as a gentleman, the other thing that I not want my ninja to be doing, but these are shortcuts you shall be able to know as we progress. They are shortcuts you shall be able to know as we progress. You will get some ninjas. We are given like three columns. We are given here like three columns. We have here 20, 30, 40. We have here 25, uh, 32, maybe 40, yeah? maybe 52, maybe 60, yeah? maybe 70. My student from Mombasa, please copy these columns very fast. Copy these columns very fast. While well, getting accent TV, I've got an error. I'll be able to address that. Chances are and cover my student. They're not using a, a modern, not using a modern Excel 2021 and uh, above. Microsoft Office 365. All right. So please, you must save this. Uh-huh, wait, wait. Yeah, just any figures, any figures there, 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 any figures there. great. So then I want you to do me a favor. I know what I normally see students doing. I know what I normally see students doing. So let me demonstrate on the whiteboard here what I normally see some students doing. You will get a student in this case who come and say, yeah, equals some, um, they copy this, they get an answer here, and then they come and they put this here, this one of uh, dragging, and then they drag this. No, that's a baby step, baby step, baby step. No. So what I want this of mind from the to do, here, the moment you have these three columns, what you need to do is simply to come and uh, select these three, where you want the purpose to be, you select them. You highlight those three, highlight them like that. My Mombasa student, please, Demonstrate here, I got a very good student that will be teaching this thing. This student is God sent to me. So you highlight those three, and then you say Alt equals. Alt equals. Ah, beautiful. It gives me answers directly for the three columns. Yeah. Yeah, it's confirmed. It's confirmed. No. <laughs> yeah. I love Excel. If I were a young man today, I can't even marry a lady that is not. I love it. So Excel has taken me. This Excel has made me to work in there. Swedish organization has taken me internationally. Because many times I, you know, I always ensure that if at my workplace, I become an Excel champion. An Excel champion. Like when they are doing this financial model, I always ensure that I become an Excel. And in the, this Excel, it has taken me to places where I get jobs, where I'm being paid for capital club, like uh, most of these state golf, because of Excel. Never joke with Excel. Never joke with Excel. Never joke with Excel. So is there a ninja who has been able to know this thing, how to do this today? You should be able to dance there. Even me when I discover anything in Excel, I do it. I wake up even with my size of body and I dance. That's how I get this thing in my mind forever. I have to celebrate. I must celebrate. So is there somebody who has known how to do this? Yeah, you can also control R, but you see that's when you have only the best is this one. Alt equals. Alt equals. Great. Great. Yeah, Nakuja, Nakuja. Iko jamana endelea wele sometimes. Iko jamana endelea mina kuja sahi. 
Minakuja saizi. <laughs> Minakuja saizi. So admin wants me to pardon. So admin, have you copied this? Have you copied these three columns? Have you copied those three columns? Have you copied those three columns? Ah, thank you very much. So are you able to highlight these three, three cells? You highlight them. You know, you have got uh, two classes. You have in this case here the, let me just try drawing. You have this normal class. Very easy for some of this class. This class, you know, you have got two classes. This class is for highlighting. You simply come and click here with this white class, then you should be able to pull this through for the three. For the three, you have been able to do that. And once you finish that, then you should be able to come and say alt what here, yeah, alt equals. You should be able to come and say alt equals. You should be able to say alt equals. And then admin, once you get it, please dance. If you're a lady, don't mind that, just dance. I mean, I'm waiting for you. Or you share your screen. You can share your screen and see what you're doing. Done. Thank you very much. The other thing that you're supposed to know, ladies and gentlemen, when you're my student, at times you may get a situation where they want you to get the total, total for this, and then they want you to get the total for this. Total across the total. Total across. So in that case, what we'll do. You will come, please, this unit of mine from this unit of mine, in this case here from uh, Mombasa. Are you able to share your screen again? Are you able to share your screen again and say something? They want you to get totals across the rows and uh, across. So then what I want this unit of mine from Mombasa to do, I want you to move with you, to move those totals now. Okay. So please write this total somewhere here. Write this total somewhere there. All right, and then talk with someone else. So please do me a favor. I want to in that white class, you highlight these up to this bottom. Also, that's what will be highlighted. Even this one, you do the highlight like this. You also highlight it. And so that you go, you, 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 you go one, where you want this photo to be put. You go one row down. And also you go here, you one point. Great, this is a very good student. He has been able to go one row down empty, and then we have one column across. So then you say alt equals, alt equals. Great, it's even giving me the grand total, you know, I mean, this thing is crazy. 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 How I wish I would get like 50 people just dancing that Mwalimu have understood how to do this. Mwalimu have understood. You can see this guy is showing me like, uh, aha, ninja, 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 oh. <laughs> By the time you finish BDA, you'll be very, you'll be very, you'll be very. I repeat, I'll be able to repeat. Come again, perfect, great. I'm repeating in one minute. In one minute, I'm repeating. Oh, we are dancing in our hearts. <laughs> that is your normal accountant. <laughs> I love the shortcut practice. Yeah, you have to really, really practice. You must practice. You must practice. So I would want in this case here, the student who wants me to repeat, are you able to share your screen? Please don't fear. Don't fear, don't fear. Are you able to share your screen? Are you able to share your screen? Are you able to share your screen? This student wants me to repeat. Don't fear, fear nobody. Fear nobody. Fear nobody. Thank you, Nancy. Nancy has some internet problem. Ah, great. So Nancy is other Buta Yo, Buta Yo a ninety, Buta ninety, Euro a ninety seventy, Buta Yo. I said, control, shift, right arrow, and I took a zot, delete. And I got column H, column H as well. All right. So control, shift down, delete. Aye. So if you don't want to protect, you don't want to total, you don't want to get your total for D6. 
Total ko ata po yes. Yeah. Cut, cut it. Then cut and paste it there. Wow. In our control X, control X, and then it paste again in the, the RAM. Yeah. Control, like in your exam the other day, they were asking control V. That's for pasting. So, sir, I'm going to highlight from 20 there. Highlight from 20 there. Okay. So, across, you go up to H. Highlight, so you are holding on to. So, highlight up to H. Just highlight. I hope you know how to do it uh, with your mouse pad. You simply uh, go one more where you need to put the total one more, one more step. No, 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 it's a little bit of a one, but 20 you pull up to H2. 20 you pull up to H2. No, 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 when you have a mind, I think a total must always be highlighted as well. No, it can't work. You see, you start from 20, you go to the end, pack a H. Pack a H. I'll have to see what you need, and then I'll pack a chini, six. You see what you need, and then I'll pack a moon. You shall watch here. You shall watch here. You see what you need, evil, evil. That's an hour chini, pack up a six. You end a chini, oh, no, what you need. No, it's not. We see what you really at top of your six. Aposasa. Aposasa. So, same art equals. What's that mean? What's that mean? We took a premier shortcut here to, to highlight even because this time round, you also want to highlight empty. You want to highlight empty cells. We're we'll able to show you how to take a shortcut there. But then, you know, there is one last thing that I would, I would want to teach you here today. There is one thing that I would want to teach you here today before I disappear. There is another group of post BBA students waiting for me to address. I want to address Kenyans now. I want to address Kenyans now. Now, as we come to our next class, which will be tomorrow, where I'll be able to show you these XMPVs and IRRs, there are things I would want you to be knowing. So you have gone, you've gotten here a column, 10, 20. Then we have here two, eight, nine, three. So those are independent columns. And then what you want to do is to come and get total here. So perhaps this is price and this is quantity, and you want to get revenue. In quantitative analysis, how do you get revenue? Is there somebody who is able to remind us how we normally get revenue? In quantitative analysis, is there somebody who is able to remind us how we get revenue? And then don't forget, for those students who not want uh, online, no, their students' online classes can't work for them. Totally. You can come and find me at Stanbank. At Stanbank. Stanbank, I can teach you physically where I show you, but most students really will be able to follow you. So they're telling me that the morning revenue is price times quantity. So could you kind of copy this price quantity, price and the quantity, price and the quantity, and then you create a column here where you have revenue equals price times quantity. And then you come and put your cursor here. So I would want to multiply this under this. So you come and say it was, you pick this. You say it was, you say you pick this, you say times, you pick this, you pick it. You pick it. Tell me what value you get in here in Excel. So once you have written, you come and say 10, you pick, you know, you say equals, and then you select a value 10 times. We select this second value two, and then we'll get in this case like cell references. And then you say enter. You say enter. What figure are we getting the one? 20. So once you get this 20, I would want you to go back to this cell. I would want you to go to this cell, back to this cell. Please go back and click on this cell. Go back and click on this cell. Go back and click on this cell. Have you done that? Have you done that? Have you done that? Have you been able to click on that cell? So you'll end up in this case you're having this cell highlighted. And once you have that cell highlighted, you see now the next one will be 20 times 8, which is 160. 30 times 9, which is. So I don't want to be doing that. Excel now has mastered this. So then what you need to do, there is this thing of auto-filling. Auto-filling, there is a house here. You see, we have got two classes. 
we have this class that we have seen in an element. This class that looks like this, which in this case is an element, is a, a very useless thing. It is only used for highlighting this class. This class. And then we have a, an out of field class, which is quite like this. This is out of field. The one that you will get when you bring this class, when you bring it here, you will get an out of field sign. So this guy, RM, are you able to share your screen for the very last time tonight? Are you able to share your screen for the very last time tonight? You share your screen for the very last time tonight. Mm -hmm. For the very last time tonight. RM. RM. So in this case here, what RM is doing here is copying there. He is copying there. Is copying the price versus what? Yeah, quantities. You can use your own. Yeah, hungry rabbit. You can use your own price and the quantity. So now he's looking for revenue. How do we get revenue? Revenue equals, you can write inside the revenue equals price times quantity. So you can see equals, we speak with the first price there, which is 20. Times, I hope you'll be able to see now, times this 30. Enter or control and give a ball and say control enter. So you can see now it is 600 there. Now you can see the plus that he has there is the white hair. That is not a very good plus. It's only used for highlighting. I would want you to take that thing to the house where it will be, where it will change, like now that plus like that. And then gentlemen, this now is an angry rabbit. If I just drop this screen just one minute, we normally say, ladies and gentlemen, that this is an angry rabbit which is a very, very powerful thing. When you bring it to its house here, an angry rabbit, you have to bring it to its cage. So it will be black, it becomes black. So it is black and an angry rabbit. And a black and an angry rabbit, the only way out you want it to run down and uh, throw the line. You need to hit it twice from its behind. So you get a very good stick and the hit it from behind. So how do we hit it? Using the, using the double click. So in this case here, when it is here, like this, like this class, you simply double click, ta -ta, then be able to feel for you, even if it's a million rows. Angry rabbits. So is there somebody who has been able to apply that thing of a, a, a black class and double click it? And double click. Is there somebody who has been able to do that? And double click. Is there somebody who has been able to do that? And double click it. And double click. And double click. And double click. It. Yeah, you can share that is the last one now we are doing. You put there and you double click. Yeah, it's a, an angry rabbit. You hit it twice. Thank you very much. Angry rabbit. So today, when you go outside there and meet your spouse, meet your kid, firstborn kid, tell your firstborn kid that you've known how to handle an angry rabbit. You should hit it twice from where? From behind. Like this, and it should be able to move and give you all the answers perfectly, all the answers perfectly. So, and gentlemen, it has been quite a journey, and I'm looking forward to meet you guys tomorrow to continue with this. It's my joy to know that uh, you are really, of course, you may not have understood everything that you are doing, you should struggle in there to understand. You're not going away empty handed, you have understood a few things here. Yeah. And you have made a resolution that you're going to become Dr. Aura's what year? BDS students. So from next day, tomorrow, I expect to get like over 50 of you registering to become my BDA students. And you'll be able to get nothing but the very best. So remember, this is our number, 0793 so that is it. And I can see Lindsay trying to share here. At least Lindsay will know how to share. That's a step forward, you know. That's a step forward. Very good. But now the other ninjas, you can only say, the class was very interesting. Thank you very much, Stephen. Very interesting. Looking forward to making it this time. You should be able to pass. No, I only teach evening, but also early morning we have got uh, very competent teachers. 
Here at RCM, of course, you guys have come a long journey with us. We don't have like mediocre teachers around here. You should be able to feel free, in this case here, to go to any class. But if you want entertainment, it's called edutainment. Edutainment, then you join my classes. If you like entertainment, if you like entertainment, if you like entertainment, then you join my classes. I will be able to show you a sheet of that. Timetable, it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 8 to 10. But now we are introducing a Thursday session. A Thursday session, I'll tell you how. From this week, we'll have a Thursday session. Thank you so much. Hi, from KG. KG is where I can get though. I'm at, I don't know, KG. Yeah, evening. Evening, we are overcoming. KG, I don't know what KG means. What does KG stand for? This lady called the evening of work. Yeah, Friday one only talks like that. This class is a bomb. I mean, <laughs> I wish I would screenshot this. I take it to my Facebook. This class is a bomb. <laughs> That's very The Cinder Manana Kiri. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, men's a congeti mother track. Nini, Pippi, Nagibuso. What's in your material? What's in your material? When you lean on Muguya, the summer Sarah Cabusa. Crown of cows, baby. How am I part on our cost hour? Thank you. All the best. Good night. Bye. <laughs>